Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add sound effects to your game so you so that you can uh, play sound effects from the client uh, or from the server to all the clients or from the server to one client. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add a module script to replicated storage. After doing that, I'm going to add a folder in replicated storage, and I'm going to call it SFX for sound effects. And now what I'm going to do is get some sound effects off of the um, uh, toolbox. So I'm going to go for audio sound effects, and I'm just going to look for some sound effects, and I'll drag the ones that I like. I'm just going to mute them on the on my recording and I'm going to find a good sound effect. So I want a uh, click sound effect. So I'm going to look for click. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's a good one. I'm going to insert it and that's pretty much all I want for now. And what I'm going to do is call it uh, click, even though it's already called click, but I forgot. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is rename this module script to uh, sound player and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get replicated storage so local replicated storage equals game colon get service replicated storage okay uh, so after getting replicated storage we're gonna get the sound effects folder so local sfx equals replicated storage colon wait for child sfx Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, add a function called module, so function module dot uh, play sound. Okay, uh, I'm going to get the sound name so that, uh, okay, so let me explain this. So what we're doing here is getting replicated storage, which is this, which is where we store these two, fo the, this uh, folder and the sound player module. And SFX is pretty much a reference to the folder over here. And this function is a function that will take the name of the sound and will play it for the player. And also, uh, I'm, I'm using a module so that we can call this whenever we want. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now is uh, find the sound effect. So local uh, uh, SFX or sound, local sound equals SFX, uh, square brackets, sound name, colon clone. Okay, uh, and after doing that, sound.parent will be equal to workspace.sound. So I'm going to add a folder to the workspace and I'm going to call it sounds. And I'm going to parent it to workspace.sounds, but now we need a reference to the sounds folder. So local sounds equals uh, replica equals uh, workspace call it for child sounds. So dot parent equals sounds. And what we're going to do now is sound call and play. And what I'm going to do is also pass on the volume for each sound. So what we're going to do in here is sound.volume equals volume. And what I'm going to do in here is when we play the sound, what I'm going to do is wait the du duration of this sound. So I think it's called uh, time length. So task.wait uh, sound.time length. And what I'm going to do is uh, add a little 0 0.05 seconds to that, just in case uh, something happens. Uh, so we're going to wait for the time length, for the length of the sound, plus 0 0.05 seconds. And then we'll do sound on destroy. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is use task.defer to um, play the sounds. So task.defer, or maybe I can use a coroutine. Okay, so instead of using task.spawn or task.defer, uh, what I'm going to do is whenever you want to call this, we will wrap it in a core routine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, test this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a button here to start a GUI. Uh, screen GUI, text button, uh, and I'm going to show you how to use this uh, module. Okay, so uh, I'm going to look for a text button and I'm going to position it somewhere else, so, uh, maybe here. I'm going to set its size to uh, 0.1, comma, comma 0, comma 0, 0.1, comma 0, uh, which is a good size. Okay, I'm just going to keep it this size and I'm going to change the text 
scale text to nothing and i'm just going to have it there it's just going to be kind of like just be there okay so now what we're going to do is i'm going to show you how to use the module so to do this we're going to get replicated storage and then the uh, module so it'll call sound player because require replicated storage going for child sound player now what i'm going to do is uh script dot parent dot mouse button on click on connect function and what we're gonna do is sound player dot play sound or maybe what we can do is core routine because this is important and i'll explain what it does dot wrap and we're gonna do module uh, or sound player sorry sound player dot uh play sound that's going to take the sound name so you want to play the click sound and also the volume which is going to be 0 0.5 okay now i'm going to add volume on obs so that you guys can hear this i'm going to play the game and see if this works so uh, let's see okay so as you can see this does work and it does play the sound and if we give it a higher uh volume like two it should play it but louder and yeah it does okay so now i'm going to show you what core routine dot rap does uh basically if you don't do this uh if you want to play multiple sounds at once it's going to wait until the uh, f uh the time length of the first one then play the second one and basically it's not really going to be a good thing now i'm going to be showing you how you can play a sound to all of the players in the game so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a part and it's going to just be called test and i'm going to anchor it and i'm going to add a proximity prompt to it so proximity prompt and i'm going to add a script to the proximity prompt now i'm going to do local replicated storage close game come on get service replicated storage and uh uh replicated storage or okay so local sound player equals uh actually we don't need to require this module from here we're going to add a remote event to the to replicated storage and it's going to be called uh, uh, play sound for everyone or maybe just play sound okay and now what we're going to do is uh, script.parent.triggered call connect function player that's going to get the player uh, but okay so player and what I'm going to do is local play sound remote so local local play play sound equals uh, replicated storage can wait for child play sound or maybe dot play sound and what we're gonna do in here is just uh, play sound con fire all clients okay con fire all clients and what I'm gonna do now is just uh, enter the this local script and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a I'm going to drag this local script in here and I'm going to just do script.parent.screengui.text button dot mouse button on click. Okay, and now what about the remote that we just added? Well, that's also very simple. What we're gonna do is local play sound equals replicated storage call if a child play sound. Now what we're gonna do is uh play sound dot on on client event con connect function and this will take a sound name which i forgot to send so we will send a the click sound and a volume of 0 0.5 now what i'm gonna do is get the sound name and volume from here okay and uh, now what i'm gonna do is play sound okay so uh sound player dot play sound and that's going to take the sound name and the actually you know what just copy this sorry because i forgot to add the core routine so just do that and what we're gonna do is send the click sound or maybe the sound name and 0 0.5 for the volume now i'm going to play the game and we'll see what happens okay i forgot to remove this and play this again so i'm going to stop play the game and hopefully this will work okay, i'm going to put on my headphones okay and now i'm going to go here and as you can see it plays the sound okay uh now what we need to do is get this right here and paste it in the sound player module okay and what we're gonna do is local play sound equals uh replicated storage going for child play sound 
Uh, and this will, okay, so what we're going to do here is module dot play sound, sound name, and the volume, we're going to send the volume. Okay, now we can just get rid of this. And this will work whenever you want to play a sound from the server to the client. So if I wanted to only play it for the player who clicked E, then what we can do is call fire client. And that's going to just take the, what's it called? Okay, so the player. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's very simple. Now what we're going to do is make sure that we have a script that requires that module, which we have right here. And let's see if that's going to work. It should work. Let's let's see. I was going to say it does. And uh, let's see if the other one works. Okay, so let's see why this is not working. It's because we're not sending the volume. So we're going to send a 0 0.5. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I've showed you guys how to play sounds on the client. Well, oh, if you just want to do it on the client. Or if you guys want to uh, do it for all of the players from server, from the server to all of the players. Or if you want to do it from the server to one player. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing, like the video, share it with your friends. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.